please click on the link I have just. You guys are all welcome to our session. And I trust that you are going to have a good time with us. And um, there is something that each of us is going to learn today. So for those of you guys who are joining us for the first time, we are learning to code using a program called Misora. And uh, that is what we are going to be uh, doing during our sessions. So what we are uh, to do now, I just want to share my screen. I will share this screen. So for the people who are joining us for the first time, my name is Mr. Sikwebu or Afiki Le Sikwebu. I am a CAT teacher at Linkside High School in Port Elizabeth. And um, yeah, I love technology and I love teaching children about technology. So um, my email address, if you have any questions, um, if there's anything that you want to ask, my email address is afikile at africateamgeeks.co.za. Um, if there's anything that you want to find out about our sessions, or if there's a question that you want to ask, um, uh, you can just send me an email and I will ask, answer you. Um, so just on a recap um, for what we have, what we did yesterday, um, we looked at nested if then, if then else blocks. So we looked at how to use the if then else block. So you have an if block, if then else, and then in the else part of that if then else, you have another if then else block. So that is what we learned yesterday. And we also looked at how to change the values of variables in our code. Um, we then looked at also using random numbers in Misora. That's what we did. And so today, we will simply create a space game. Uh, that's what we are going to do in today's lesson. We are going to create a space game. And um, we are going to try and bring all the things that we have been learning for the past eight days together in one game. So we will have a combination of blocks that we have been learning about, and we are going to bring them in one game. So if you are watching this, um, I just want to just uh, send this message that if you, if your person is watching this on YouTube, the file, the working file that we are going to use is in the description on, it's, it's on the description below. You will find it there. So we are going to create a space game. And before we do that, um, I just want to encourage you guys. There are two speakers that are speaking this week. Um, it is, uh, we have Barbara. Mbanefo, Mbanefo, and also have um, Miss Dimopoulos. I don't know how to pronounce her name, and so I'm not going to try. So on the 15th, we have um, uh, Miss Dimopoulos, who is going to be addressing you guys at 3 p.m. And then on the 16th, which is on Saturday, we have uh, Miss Barbara Mbanefo, who is going to be addressing you guys at 10 a.m. So what I want to what I want to encourage you guys to do these are ladies who are in the in the IT space who are doing amazing things in IT and I want to I want I want to encourage you guys to write um, your question if you if you if you have a question uh, when you are listening to them write it down now just whatever question that you want to write down or you want to ask them about uh, programming or about coding. Um, you can just write down and during that session, uh, I think one of you, if there's one of you who has a question, you can just uh, let me know and I think I will put it through to them or rather I will, let's say I will try to get you to get, ask your question at that time. So please do that. Please attend those sessions. I think there is much that you are going to learn them. So we are going to first log in after I stop sharing my screen. So for the people who are joining us for the first time, who are just joining us now, 
I'm going to share a link with you. Um, I'm going to share a link with you. Please click on that link and download the file that is on that link. Um, I've just shared that link with you guys right now. And I'm also going to share the file which we are going to use. So if it is, is easier to just download the file, you can do that now. So um, I'm going to ask also my host that all the people that are joining us new, if you can just share that link with them. Uh, so let me open my browser and let me share my browser. All right, so we now have, as I said, we are going to do a space game. Um, at first, what I wanted to do was to share with you guys um, the sprites, but it doesn't seem that it was uh, possible to share just the sprites because I don't have them on my, on my laptop anymore. So you have downloaded this file. This is the file that you have downloaded and uh, it is what we are going to be uh, looking at. So what happens is that now that you have downloaded it, I want us to navigate together. Or in fact, let's first log in mithora.co.za. And I think we all know how to log in now. And we are going to click on Missora blocks. All right, so now that we are in Missora blocks, we will then um, go to file. And then we'll say load from computer. Now, depending on where you saved the file, my files always come up and they go to my downloads folder. So depending on where you saved the file, you will go to that place. If the file is under your documents, you go to my documents. If your file is under your desktop, you go to your desktop. Mine is under downloads. So I will go to downloads and I will search for the file. It's called um, space game two. So I will take the file, it's called space game two, and I will click on it. And after I've selected it, you can then choose for upload. So for the people who are saying they've got the file, um, that's how you get it. You go to file, you say load from computer. Um, load from computer and then you are going to navigate to the file space game two. And um, just also uh, the links for the Zoom sessions are going to be found, or oh, sorry, for, for the links for this session are also going to be found on the newsletter. Um, so yeah, don't worry about it. You, can, you, you will get access to these files later on. Um, so now you have space game two, then you choose for upload. It's going to open it. And so it's going to bring up this project. And I hope that everybody has the project open now. If there's anyone who still hasn't opened their project, um, please speak now. So you have this project open. I'm going to close one of them. So in my project, in my project here, I have, um, if you don't have the project yet, there's a link in the, dry, in the, in the chat. <clears throat> in my project here, I have a space rocket, which I cannot find. Um, it's, it is somewhere, it is somewhere here. Uh, I'm just, I don't, I just don't know where it is. It's some, it's hiding right at the bottom here. So we have a rocket. We have 
an explosion which looks like this. Let me say, let me show it. Okay, there it just says boom. So we have that explosion called boom. No, it's, re it's really just boom. And we have this alien ship. We, we have this alien ship. We then have a, a balloon uh, called balloon two, but it's actually a bullet. It's also hidden, it's, it's right there. It's hidden right there at the end. And then we have this rocket ship and we are going to duplicate these uh, rocket ships, right? So we'll duplicate these rocket ships. Now, now that we have our, our sprites, the rocket, the explosion, the alien, the balloon, which is going to be our bullet, uh, and then the rocket ship, we are going to start coding them at, um, one at a time. So what we want to do, we have this rocket ship that is basically, it's still hiding. It's somewhere, um, it's a 256 minus 194. So it's somewhere here. It's, it's, it's sitting somewhere there. And um, so we have our, the setting for our game and uh, we have a backdrop. We have all our sprites. So we are going to start coding them one at a time. And so we are going to start with the rocket ship because it is what uh, we want to see at the current moment. So the first thing that we are going to do with the rocket ship is that we want to tell it how it's going to move. Um, to move to move up, it's going to use the arrow, the up arrow. To go down, it's going to use the down arrow and so forth. So we are going to now code this uh, one at a time. All right, so first thing, is to say when the flag is clicked, oh, sorry. When the flag, when the flag is clicked, what must you do? We, um, we want to, I'm going to do it differently to how we have been coding it before um, in the sense that I just said, just click this back button. I'm going to use if statements because we want to learn how to use uh, these if blocks. So when the, when, when the flag is clicked, the first thing that you must do is that the code that you must keep repeating this code, okay? And the computer is asking, what code do you want me to repeat? This is the code we are going to repeat if the left arrow, so we have an if block and we drag the if block in. And if the key left arrow, if that key is pressed, then we must change x by minus 10, all right? So if that key is pressed, you must change x by minus 10. That's what that is going to do for us, okay? And then we then want to also copy this code to save time. You can just right click on it and then duplicate it. We are going to duplicate it four times or three times. So we'll have that, um, we'll duplicate it uh, three times. Okay, so I see that some of you guys have opened uh, Zoom on your phones and you cannot, you've downloaded the files on your cell phones. Okay, that's fine. If, if possible, can you please um, just watch what we are doing? I'm sorry about that. Please just watch what we are doing and you can do it at a later stage. So uh, keep, the, keep the link 
and watch what we are doing so that you, and you have an understanding of, of the project itself. And then at a later stage, you can just check the video up on YouTube later on today, and you can, uh, you can, you can, you can do that on your own time. So at the end of this session, I will share this. Uh, the, I will share the project with you guys and tell you exactly how to get to it. But um, can we? We just. I just need now to continue for the sake of time. Um, so I, I noted that some of you guys cannot uh, work with us at this point, but please just watch with us. So we have now four of this code, and we say if the right arrow is clicked, if the right arrow for this one we are going to say it must change the position of X by 10. Remember X minus 10 goes to the left and, and plus 10 goes to the right on the X axis. All right, um, I will screenshot it and send it to you. Now for this one, for up and down, we are going to delete this change X because you will remember we said to move from left to right, we use the X axis and to move down up, we use the Y, the Y value or the Y axis. So from down up is, uh, is X or from up down is Y, sorry. And then from X, from left to right or right to left, it is the X. So we then will change the Y for up, we will change it by 10. Um, and then we then otherwise, we will change it by minus 10. All right, so okay. if we click the flag, there it is. There it is. So now we see our spaceship is working. If we press um, the left, it, uh, it goes left, it goes backwards. If we press the right, it goes um, to the right. Okay, so our spaceship now is working. <coughs> Excuse me. Then next, what we want to do is to move to the explosion. We're going to move to the explosion, which is here. And all that we want to do is for the explosion to appear. That's all. When we click the flag, we want that explosion to appear. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. When we click the flag, we want that explosion to always be hiding. All right. So we'll say when you click the flag, When you click the flag, the explosion must hide. So whenever we click the flag, the, 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 the explosion must always start from a position of hiding. It must not show itself. It must always be hiding. That's all that we are going to do for this one. When you click the flag, hide yourself, all right? Then um, we'll move over to the alien ship, which is going to be also, it's going to have some, it's going to be a bit long, but it's not too long that you cannot understand. So when we move to the alien ship, what we want the alien ship to do is that when we start the game, when we start the game, what must it do? It must also show itself. So whenever we start the game, it must also show itself. And when it showed itself, what must it do? We are then going to have a code that is going to keep happening all the time. We're going to have a loop, a forever loop, and we are going to tell this Excuse me. We are going to tell this alien ship to keep moving. So it's going to keep moving by minus 10 steps. You will remember minus 10 goes to the left. Okay. 
it must go by minus 10 steps. Then we want to say, if this spaceship, this alien ship, if it's touching something, remember there's a bullet also, right? So we want to make sure that when this spaceship touches this bullet, something must happen to it. So basically this guy here is going to shoot, it's, it, it's going to shoot down all of these rocket ships. That is, um, that is what he wants to do. He wants to shoot down all of these rocket ships. And um, he, this one, you must not shoot this one. Uh, so what we want to do is that if this one is shot, we want something to happen to it, all right? So we are going to say, if this uh, rocket ship is touching, if it's touching the bullet two, sorry, which is uh, balloon two, if it's touching this balloon, what must happen to it, all right? So it must switch the costume and it must have a costume called oops, all right? This is something that you have on your project also. So it must switch the costume to the costume called oops, okay? If we go to its costume, it has two costumes. It has this one and it also has this costume, all right? So it must switch that costume and um, it must also wait one second and it must wait one second. All right, then we can connect that one there. We are not yet going to do the variables to check the score and um, to check the lives. We're not going to yet do that. Um, we are going to do them. I think we are going to do them tomorrow. I doubt that we are going to finish today. I said the game would take us um, two days. So we are going to do the score and the other variables um, later. So um, it must do that, it must show the oops, and it must then hide. So when it's touching the bullet, it must show this variable, oh, sorry, sorry, it must show this, um, this costume called oops, and then it must go and hide once again, all right? Are we cool? Okay, can we continue? For those who are, who are, who are with us, who are able to, to do the project, everybody is fine. So after it's hidden, it is going to go to a random position. We want it now to go back to where it started. All right, so uh, we wanted to go to where it started and, um, but it must come out from any position from, from here all the way to here. It can choose any position where it, come out, it comes out to so that we don't always know where it's going to come out and, um, and avoid it. So we are going to say it must go to a random position it is still inside this if block. So it must go to a random position. When it's at a random position, we want to set its position. So remember we have, it's, it's now at position 48 for the X. We want to set it back right there. So we are going to say, go back or go to position, let's try for now, let's try 240 and we will see what is going to do when we start. And it's actually only just going to go to that position when, we, when it touches the balloon, all right? So it must go to that position and it must also again 
change the costume. Uh, where's switch costume? Okay, so it must then switch the costume and back to alien. Remember, there's two costumes. There's alien, and then there's oops. So if you have shot it, uh, it will show oops. Then it must hide, and then when it comes back into the game, it must come back as this alien. All right. So it must change the costume, and we want it to show. All right. So when it's done all of that, we then want it um, to show. So let's see what happens. Okay. Now we see that it still, it, it gets stuck to the end of the screen. It moves and then it gets stuck at the end of the screen because it hasn't touched the, the bullet. Um, it will only go to the beginning of the screen when it has touched the bullet. So we are going to fix um, all of that. And um, we want to just continue and we will get to fixing it. So now we want to then fix that. We will then say outside of this if block, it's not a nested loop. So outside of this if block, I'm going to build another if. So I'm going to build it outside for now. Um, and then we are going to join it uh, below it. So we want to say, if the position of this um, alien ship, there it is. So if this position of this alien ship gets to two, minus 257, we want it to go back to where it started. All right. So we are going to then say, if, um, if position, I, I like to use the or so that I can test for two conditions. So if the position is equal to, sorry, if the X position, which is this one, is at minus 257, you can see that at this point, it is at 80. So we want it when it's at 200, it's minus 257, we want if the X position is equal to minus 257, which we are given here. Or if X position is less than minus 257, um, just sometimes it just, it just sometimes happens that um, it doesn't work if you have one condition. Sometimes it just, it just happens with, with all my projects. Sometimes it happens that if I have one condition, it sometimes doesn't work. So I like to at least put two conditions. And the reason I'm saying or, let me put this here. The reason I'm saying or is for, it, is for the computer to first test this one. If this one doesn't work, then it's going to come to this one and it's going to choose whichever one works. So that's why we use or, and you will remember, we said about the end, when we use and, we said both of them have to work, they have to be true. So I'm going to say, otherwise, if the X position is less than 257, Okay, then we connect that here. Let me move this a bit. I hope you guys are still um, with me. Uh, I hope uh, you are still able to follow. If it is equal to that, if it is there, we want it then to go to a random position, the same code that we did here and then it must go to position set X to position 240. Okay, then we can connect that outside. So right between where the if block ends and the forever block ends. So we are going to connect that in between. 
Okay, now you see it's moving now to a random position and then it moves to position 240. Whenever it gets to the end of the screen, it goes to a random position, which means it can appear anywhere, but it must appear anywhere at 200 and at position 240. Let's see if we said the position must be zero and see it's going to appear somewhere here. You see, so position zero for X is always going to be right here. You see, if we said it must appear at position um, 20 or let's say 200, you see, so depending on where you say it must appear, that is what is going to happen. So you will see that I said set X. I didn't say change X. There's a difference. If I say change X, it's going to reverse. Let me show you. So you must just make sure that you change, you, you, you pick the right one. If I said, for instance, change X by 10, by minus 10, let me see. If I said change X by 10, let's see what happens. You see, it keeps just coming back um, at, 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 at uh, it, it change, it basically uh, takes that where, where it is and it changes the value by 10 and it comes there. So we don't want that to happen. So we will say set, which says always go back to 40. Always go back to 40, all right? Now, uh, that is what we will do there, all right? Instead of saying change X by my, change X by 10, because it's just going to keep adding 10 to this number, all right? So we've got the space, this ship working, and I said, we are go not going to do the variables for now. So we can move to the next one. Is everybody still okay? Everybody still okay? Okay, I suppose silence also means uh, people are still okay. Thanks, Mohammed. So we then move to the balloon or our bullet. And I think the bullet has got the longest code in our game. So uh, it has the longest code in our game. And um, I think then let's do the bullet last because what we are going to do this, the code for this, we are going to repeat for these two also. So this one has the longest code to our game. So we are going to move to the rocket ship because it has a, a shorter code um, than, the, than the bullet. The bullet, there's quite a lot of things that the bullet must, must do for us. So we are going to do this. And um, I'm going to also today take a few screens today. If there's people who want to share their screens and show us their projects, I would like you guys to share your screen and talk us through your projects uh, also today. So we are going to do this, it may seem tomorrow, and then we will do the touch-ups for all the variables. So the rocket ship, also what it does is that it keeps moving around, it, it keeps moving on the stage, all right? It keeps moving up the stage, and that's what we are going to do now with it. So the first thing is to say also, we want you to start when the game starts. So when the game starts, we want you to also show yourself. So show yourself when the game starts. After you've shown yourself when the game starts, we also want you to have a loop, which is going to repeat the code that we want to do. Then, what then is the code that we want to do? 
we want to first make the spaceship or the rocket ship, we also wanted to move like this one. So we wanted to move left to right. So if you remember the code that we used, we then will say it must change X, change X by minus five, something similar to what we did for the alien. So it must change X by minus five. When it's changed X by minus five, we also want to see, like for instance, now it also gets stuck. So we want to see where it gets stuck. So it gets stuck at minus 252. So we have the position where it gets stuck. So we want to copy that position and say, if, I'm going to read it this way. If you get stuck, let's try this one, just, just one. If your X position gets stuck at minus 252, you must go to a random position. You will see that we keep repeating the same thing. So you must go to a random position and you must set the X position let's make it 250 for this one and let's put it in so now you see it's it gets unstuck so even if you will see on this one you will see i had an or just in case it gets stuck and it doesn't uh work with just one position this one it recognizes it and says okay at 252, when I get there, let me just move to the next position. Um, it does sometimes happens that one doesn't work. I've experienced it. So I just wanted to avoid it here. That's why I had the or. Oh, that's why I had two conditions, just in case one condition doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to try and go slower. So um, we have, when the flag is clicked, it must show this rocket ship. When it's shown this rocket ship, it must change the position or the change the X by minus 10, which is going to keep deducting 10. So it's going to be 202 minus 10, uh, which is, uh, after that, it's going to be the answer of that minus 10. And then it's going to be the answer of that minus 10 up until it gets to this position. It then will go and start at 250 and then it will be 250 minus 10 and all so on and on and on up until we stop the game. Now it starts there. It goes back to its original position. And we want also to say, if you are shot down, if the bullet touches you, the bullet is right there and it's hidden. If the bullet touches you, what must you do? Okay, if the bullet touches you, let's take the if, if the bullet touches you. So if touching bullet or balloon, If touching balloon two, what must then you do? You must switch the costume. Switch the costume to, now let's see how many costumes this rocket ship has. It has two costumes. It has one called explode, which is boom. So it must switch to this costume. And at the end, I'm going to show you how to upload your own um, sprites, okay? I'm going to show you at the end how to upload your own sprites. It must switch to explode to, sorry, to explode. So whenever it touches the bullet, it must switch to explode. Then when it's switched to explode, 
we are going we we are not going to do the variables yet so we are not counting the score so we leave the score for now when it's switched to explode it must wait for one second i hope i'm going uh, at the right pace i'm not too fast and wherever it is if the bullet touches it sorry if the bullet touches it when it's there wherever it is when once it touches the bullet it must hide so we don't want to see it again once the bullet touches it it must hide so we are going to go to looks and look for hide so we are going to hide it after it's hidden it must also go back to a random position in motion go to a random position and set x to once again 240 okay let's make it 260 a bigger number um, and see if it's still going to work and remember now it's hidden it's not shown right but now after it said to two to 260 we want it to show itself again so that it shows so then you will remember it is now this sprite so this sprite will be showing while it's hidden it is going to be hidden as that sprite but we want it when it show when it's when it shows itself we want it to come back as the rocket ship so if you're touching the bullet you must switch yourself to the explode sprite you must wait one second um you must wait one second you must hide yourself you must go to a random position which is going to be a random but make sure when you go to that random position it is coming from this side then you must show yourself and then after you have shown yourself you must come as a rocket ship the game we are doing is called space game it's a game in outer space that's what we are doing and you will connect that between the forever block and the if block so it goes in between there and if we are trying it it's going to work okay and finally let's make it um okay no what we also want to do is that if this touches the rocket ship the rocket must sorry if, if this rocket ship touches our rocket um our rocket then must explode okay but we'll do that and then it must also uh, count how many lives we have so this code that we have here we are going to copy it by coming we are going to take it drag it to the other sprites so i'm going to put it in this sprite over i'm going to uh, drag it over the sprite and i'm going to also drag it over this sprite as well now if you open the sprites you will see they have also the same code and to make sure that they are not traveling at the same pace i will make this one let's make it faster but now because we have made it faster you will see it might get stuck okay so it doesn't okay it doesn't get stuck that's fine it disappears at 252 all right that's fine it works fine and we are going to make this one let's make it um, 13 
13. Okay, so all our rocket ships now are working. Okay, they are all working, including our including our, our rocket ship, our rocket itself. All that is missing now is for us to shoot the bullet. And I said, we will try that, we'll do that tomorrow because it is quite a long code. Well, it's not, it's, it's not very long, but it is, it is long and we are not going to be able to finish it within our time limit for today. So um, I think we are going to stop the game at this point, our space game at this point. And um, I am going to conclude after you guys have asked your questions. If there's anyone with a question, you can, answer, you can ask now. For those of you who could not download and take part in the lesson with us, I'm going to guide you after the, after the session has, after we have finished with taking questions, I'm going to guide you to make sure that when you are able to download um, the working file and work at your own time. So I'm going to take questions at this point. If there's anyone with a question, Haja has a question. I'm unmuting you. Oh, was that so, a when I, so when I um, play it, it each time st stays on the right side and never goes um, like to, goes to the left side. It goes to the so okay now, which one the this the rocket ship? Yeah, all three rocket ship. It stays okay. on the right side to go up down. It goes up down. Yes. Okay. Now, what I think you have done there, I'm going to ask you to go to one of the rocket ships and I'm going to walk through your code. All right? So, do you have change X by minus 10 or do you have change Y by minus 10? Change X by minus 10. You have change X by minus 10. And then do you have here change X by 250 or do you have change Y by 250? X. We have change X. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you next is if you can share your screen with us so that I can have a look at your code. Okay. Yeah. And um, is there anyone, while Haja is sharing a screen, is there anyone who would like to share their project with us? Okay, I'm going to stop my share. You can share your screen, Haja. Okay, at the bottom of your screen, do you see a, a an icon that says share screen? Yes. Okay, press on that screen. Can I click it says press only on. host can share the meeting. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, Mr. Host, can you please make a Haja co-host? Thank you. Okay, you can try now. Um, that's the wrong one, wait. Okay. All right, thank you. Why is it not? Wait, 
I'll go again and share it. Okay. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Um, now, can you play your game? They press the flag at the top. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they remain there. So change x by minus 10. If x position is minus 252. Is, no, no, no. You see, um, if you look at the, can you look at the if, if x yes. position? Yeah. Um, just make sure that it's less than, not, not greater than. Um, this one, less than. Yeah, yeah. Change that to great to less than. What's the number? Um, let's make it 252, it's fine. 250, minus 250, sorry. Yeah, okay, then, no, no, make it less than, not greater than. Okay, go back to operators. Oh, less than. Less than, yeah, not that, yeah, that one, yes. Minus 250. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you will need to do that for all your other sprites as well. Just make sure that it's my it's less than. All right. Okay. Thank you for, for that. Um anyone else who has a question? Okay, um, Paul, you can speak, Mpo. Yes, um, for yesterday's project that we did, when I inserted a number, it kept saying that it was too small. Okay, um, all right. So what I'm going to do is that if you can stick around till the end of the session, then we can have a look at your code. Right when okay. everybody else has, has left, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, you can you can open that project so long, um, so that when 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 everybody has left, we can talk about it. Okay. All right. Um, for the people that cannot download the link from the link, please also stick around so that I can guide you on how to do that. Um, yes. Any other question concern um, regarding today's uh, project or lesson? All right. And anybody who says, I have made a project on my own and I would like to share it with everybody. Is there anyone who would like to share their project? No one. All right. So if there's no one that would like to share their project today, and there's no one who says, I have a burning question that is something I didn't understand. Um, I think then we'll call it a, a day. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said also that I would show you how to, how to upload sprites, right? Let me do that. Let me do that. So I said I would show you how to upload your own sprites. All right. So I have... Uh, costumes here, right? Sorry, I, I come to Sprite, there's a Sprite that I've downloaded already. And you come and say, upload Sprite. And there's a Sprite that's called Among. Well, my daughter drew the Among Us character. Then you go to that Sprite or you go to the file and you can then upload it. And you will then see it in your game, all right? And um, there's some also tools that you can use to remove the background. For instance, this is what I did for this one. You go to remove.bg 
and you will then select the file that you want. For me, it was, where is it? Here, here is the original file. You can see, uh, if you do draw your own sprites, please draw them on white paper. Um, it's it just, and draw them with a pen. Uh, then it becomes easier for this, this, uh, this website to remove the background. So you just, then what you do, you will download here and it will be on your, on your downloads folder or in your downloads folder. So that's how you can draw and upload your own sprites um, on Misora. You just go here, you upload a sprite and you navigate to it and uh, voila you have your sprite there. All right, so today we did a rocket ship game, which um, spoke to many of, uh, sorry, to, 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 to uh, some code blocks that we had used uh, in the past eight days. Uh, codes such as the forever loop. Uh, we looked at uh, codes such as the if block, if something happens, uh, then this is what you must do. It helps with code, which helps us to make decisions in coding. Um, you will see that you will use the if block quite a lot. So you must get your head around it, around how to use it or when to use the if block and when to use the if then else blocks. So we used that to control our rocket ship. We also used the hide, uh, the hide block, uh, the show block. So basically today and tomorrow's session is really about looking at some of the code that we have done and we have used or learned about in the past and how to use all of that code to create your own projects. So we have come to the end of today's session and tomorrow's session will be to complete our, our game and um, that's what we are going to do tomorrow and we'll start something fresh and look at something fresh from Monday to Friday next week. So thank you very much for those of you guys who joined us today. I hope that you were able to learn something from me and to the guys who were not able to download the game on time, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, please stick around and I will show you how to download it so that you are ready to do it uh, tomorrow. So thank you very much. The video will be available on YouTube today for you to download and uh, for you to, 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 to watch and uh, do the project with us. So thank you. I am now going to help those people who could not uh, download the project. Everybody else, you can, you can exit, thank you.